Hi everyone. Um, <laughs> sorry if I look uh, like a uh, hobo. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. But I've just been in the garden and I'm filthy. Um, I was in the greenhouse uh, and it kind of occurred to me someone wrote the other day, then someone wrote the other week, and every once in a while someone writes in regards to avocados, etc. So. Pardon me, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, and it's gone. Um, <laughs> oh, so, avocados. Um, so, I thought I'd show you mine. So, basically, with an avocado, you obviously get the seed in the centre that you can take out. And it's like an egg with a pointy bit. More so pointy at one end and more so flat at the other. So the flat part goes down, all right, pointy part up. So just to clarify that. All you need to do really, like years ago, people, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it still works, but when you're a kid you used to like, you know, get um, an avocado and put toothpicks around it and put it in some water so just the base was in the water and the root system would start and what have you. And I guess, you know, the, I used to do that too and now as I'm, got older I just can't be bothered doing that so I just plant them directly into the soil and um, they pretty much work so obviously get an organic avocado I'll show you some um, mangoes that I've got too that I've put in uh, mangoes are a little bit different like with the the seed itself it's got a uh, really kind of um, full on husk to it so what I do I just let the seed sit in the greenhouse out of direct sunlight just you know airy dry place let it sit for a few days, about a week or so, actually. Dries out a little bit. And then I just cut the husk off. Be careful, just go around the edges and take it off because the main seed inside is what you want. Um, and I plant that and then they pop up from there. But my avocados... Um, where's a... Look, here's one here. Uh, you see that just emerging? That's an avocado in there. And then they'll pop up. It'll be like this got a good example of each kind of stage then here and then here now not all avocados will fruit once they've been planted by seed um, apparently um, about 50% ratio so there's another one up here so I'm actually going to start um, growing a few I'm going to build another smaller greenhouse for seed propagation and can this is a pretty good sized greenhouse take all the shelving out and um, see how I go trying to grow stuff like that um, like tropical-esque fruits because um, the fact of the matter is that I do eat them avocados, pineapples, mangoes, all that stuff I love all that stuff but the fact of the matter also is that it probably comes a fair way to get to my plate so it's always you know you think oh you know will I buy it or not and, you know so give it a go and see if I can start growing them myself. This is a mango that I put in. This is probably about um, five or six weeks old and it's doing really well. You can tell from the how it's growing out this side when I've planted the seed the bud point where it was coming out was obviously over here so it's kind of gone out and then up rather than being central but it doesn't seem to be a problem so far. So that's doing really well. Um, there's another one here too. This is another one that I put in and you can just see, so I'm careful, it's just starting to emerge there. So that's another mango. And what happens with the mangoes I found just from doing these, um, there'll be a little green, it's like a little bud point on it. I usually face that upwards. The um, seed itself will be relatively flat. I put it just po flat point pointing up. So what's a bit I can't think of a word. So the flat part's actually parallel to the pot. That's probably the easiest way to put it. With the green bud kind of pointing up. And um so far so good. So hopefully down the track um I'll be able to show you some better videos of their growth patterns and hopefully some fruit. So that's it. The avocados, 
mangoes, all that stuff. It's obviously susceptible to colds, frosts, yada yada. So keep them in a nice, warm, humid environment. So they're doing really well in this greenhouse. So don't put them outside. I'll just they'll just die off. But I'll do more <clears throat> as I go along. So as these kind of grow, I'll do more avocado slash mango videos and um, let you know how it's all going. Heaps of stuff's been going in too. Um, quarter acre project. Have a look on the website and see how it's going. Um, yeah, it's all happening. Lots of stuff's gone in. You can actually see my hat. No, you can actually see the emptiness. The emptiness of the bench. There's just a few carrots and a few tomatoes left. I actually chucked in some potatoes. Um, I had some potatoes that I got the other week, or a few weeks, two, three weeks ago, whatever. And I thought, oh, these taste nice. So I kept a couple, um, let them chit, like shoot, and I chucked them in. And they've, the plants are out so big now. So I just did that. I thought, oh, I'll chuck them in, see how I go. They've actually done quite well. And if you want to see something else while you're here, not my um, mongoose. Here's all my garlic just hanging up. So it's done pretty well. It dies off when you pick it, or I pick it when it's starting to die off, but centrally it will still be green. Don't let it just go dead completely dead because uh, that can present a few problems as far as storing goes and then when it's still green it's still pliable so you can tie it up and it'll stay there so that's my garlic cool all right uh, mangoes avocados I'll be back and I'll do some more videos on that too and uh, give you a bit of an update as we go along because really you know how cool would it be to be able to grow mangoes and avocados all right cool I'll see you soon bye